this if reposted. Turns out, Mr. Keller, if you want to be creative, all you have to do is go on a little jaunt. New York Times article recently talking about a study from the University of Graz in Austria that finds that active people come up with more and better ideas during tests of their inventiveness than people who are relatively sedentary. And it suggests that if we wish to be more innovative, we might also want to be movers and shakers. Many studies in people and animals show that our brains change in response to physical activity, in part because during exercise, we marinate our brains with extra blood, oxygen, and nutrients. They break it down to, all you gotta do is go on a walk and you'll be more creative. Yeah, I mean, the, the science part of it, I guess, makes sense. And you're going to have to have science to back up claims like that. But to me, the, the most obvious thing is if you're sedentary, you're going to be within the confines of your house, apartment, van, like wherever you live. And if you're being active, you're going to be stimulated by different things that like you wouldn't be otherwise. Like if I go on a walk, I'm going to see people walking. I'm just going to have different experiences. And I, I think that's the most basic way to be able to think of it, too. You know, uh, before the uh, lockdown, you were very involved in the improv scene. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, when you guys are like writing or putting something together, are people active or are you in this room just kicking like Saturday Night Live? Are they in the writer's room? Are they walking? Are they on a treadmill? What's their deal? I think I don't really know. But from what I've heard of Saturday Night Live is they do a lot of it in, in the room and they're kind of in the confines of 30 Rock. But I think being on your feet, being more active, I mean, I guess a lot of times improv kind of was born or is it used as a tool to um, write sketch. And so you improvise something and you're like, oh, that was funny. Let's rewrite it. So let, let's, let's get it on its feet. I, I did writing lab at the Groundlings. And the way that works is you get a prompt, you have five minutes to write an idea and then you get up and you improvise it and you kind of see what works and what doesn't. And then, and then you write it. So this is, that's not really exercising, but it's getting it on its feet and it's getting it um, more active to be able to deal with it rather than just kind of thinking about it more cerebrally. Is there, is there a chance that Steven Spielberg wrote Jaws or E.T. while he was on a walk around the neighborhood? No, he had a standing desk and he was walking on his treadmill. I mean, <laughs> I read this and I also thought of every single article I read about the morning routines of CEOs. I'd say 85% of CEOs start their day with some form of exercise and whether or not the CEO has to be creative, they're a successful person. And like, maybe not in a traditional creative sense, but like, it's a good thing to be doing in general. You know, um, I started doing yoga maybe a couple of years ago or so and the yoga studio that I go to was just the one around the block. So I didn't know anything about them. So I went in and they're really big on headstands. They just like told every session always ended with a headstand. And I didn't understand why. And, Eventually, I, I got up the courage to ask the teacher. She was like, they just really firmly believe that you have to let that ox, the blood flow down to your head. Like they, they, by the way, this is from India, thousands of years ago, they believe this, that it really matters that you're pushing blood to your head. And I feel like that's what we're kind of talking about with, um, with walking. Yeah. Can you do a headstand? I cannot do a headstand. Um, they have all sorts of ways for you beginners. Try. Like, you, where you, where you, I can like lean up against the wall, or I. They have a special thing where I can kind of, you know. So there's all sorts of ways to do. It. I actually, in my little meditation practice, spent some time like just leaned over for a couple of minutes every day, so that I now kind of force the blood down to my head. That's interesting that you brought up yoga because I was doing yoga for a while before the lockdown, and I would always just feel very relaxed after yoga was over. I, I didn't feel like I needed to write something or be creative. So that's interesting that you might not feel the immediate effects of being of being creative after exercising, but like law, just you, I guess it's trust the process. It's kind of like the 76ers. Well, <laughs> it's funny you say that because once again, I thought of um, the British rapper who does the improv rapping that we had Chris on our Turner. show. For Christopher, and I always forget his name. And he was saying, once again, if you just relax your mind, you your mind will find the answers for you. Like if you're trying to do an improvisational rap, don't think of the answer, let the answer come. And I think that's kind of what exercising or walking. Like, like you just said, you relax your mind enough, let it kind of gravitate where it needs to go. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is a little woo 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 or whatever, but <laughs> you you have to understand that your body whole, or if you buy into the thought that your body can hold on to stress and hold on to things like it's just going to sit there. And so being active can release that. And that's going to free up your body to be able, or your mind to be able to 
think about other things rather than, oh, my knee hurts or my back is tight. Um, it's just a, a balanced body is, is an easy thing to talk about, but people don't necessarily want to uh, do the steps necessary to achieve that. You know, the other thing for me that I've actually really kind of been practicing is just like perspective. Like when I'm I'm grinding on something and it's not working, literally just sitting on the other side of the room kind of helps my brain get a different just chi or vibe. And I just assume that like going outside my house is going to give me a different vibe than sitting in my house. And so going on a walk around the, you know, gives me a different view altogether and my brain a different perspective. So I don't know if that's related to walking and exercise, but it just gives my brain a different perspective. Yeah, something also that was interesting about this article or this study was that the the more rigorous the activity was, like it kind of went up. Like people that would do light walks might be uh, a little bit more creative, but the more um, intense ac- exercise that people do, it kind of made them, you're happier. You're happier, you're more creative, all those great things. I do feel like we talk about walking at least once every other week. We have like a walking segment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I like to walk. Well, I, I like to walk too. Well, I have to go exercise my legs today. Is quads and calves. So if you want to reach <laughs> out, please do. You can find us at Reposted Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Andrew Keller for No Sign saying thanks for stopping by. <laughs>